If you're worried about your job in this economy, it's not out of left field. 50% of companies are expecting layoffs, according to a PwC survey of execs. Here are the sectors facing job cuts in this week's Buy for Friday. Mortgage and real estate start us off at number five. The housing market has cooled and mortgage demand hit its lowest point in two decades. Lender Loan Depot has already let go of 2,800 employees this year, with 2,000 more on the way. Real estate firm Redfin announced it would cut 8% of its staff, and JP Morgan, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo have shed hundreds of mortgage brokers. After a fintech funding boom, here comes the bust at number four. Retail trading platform Robinhood laid off 23% of its staff in August, citing low trading volume, spiking inflation, and the ongoing crypto winter. Speaking of, Coinbase canned 18% of its team, and Winklevoss funded Gemini released 7% of its staff after cutting 10% earlier this year. With consumer spending flat, it's time for retail companies to tighten their belts. Bed Bath & Beyond announced last week it is closing 150 stores and laying off 20% of its 32,000 employees. Wayfair thrived at the start of the pandemic, but with sales falling, they now have to cut 870 jobs. And with e-commerce losing some steam, Shopify is slashing 10% of its workforce. Streaming comes in at number two. After Netflix lost subscribers for the first time ever, the streamer let go of 475 staffers. Warner Discovery is in the midst of cleaning house, too. After shutting down CNN Plus, they cut 70 jobs at HBO Max and even took out some top execs at the Oprah Winfrey Network. But our number one is big tech. More than 28,000 tech workers have been laid off this year, according to Crunchbase. Microsoft said it would lay off around 1% of its 180,000 employees, worried about fourth quarter growth. Google's CEO just warned of possible layoffs. And on the social media front, Snap got rid of 20% of its team. Facebook is reportedly cutting contractors at random using an algorithm. And TikTok is shedding weight amid restructuring. This is my least favorite Five for Friday by far. The only thing I can leave you with is at least none of these CEOs tried to get in on the crying CEO meme. I'm Simone Del Rosario. It's Just Business, and I'll see you next week.